Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. A, B are both real numbers. And 3 times A is not smaller than B. 3 times B is not smaller than A. Then, can you prove the following inequality? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. This inequality looks a bit complicated. We can make its form a little simpler and clearer by substituting the variables, which can help us find an idea more easily. So we set the square root of 3 times a minus b as x, and the square root of 3 times b minus a as y. Of course, neither x nor y will be smaller than 0. We square both equations, and get the quadratic linear equations with a b as the unknowns, from which the expressions for a and b can be easily found. We first bring them into the square root of a plus b, and simplify it, and get the square root of half the square of x plus the square of y, and then multiply it by x plus y, which is the whole left side of the original inequality. Then we bring a b to the right side of the original inequality. Calculate the numerator. We get 3 times x to the fourth power, plus 3 times y to the fourth power, plus 10 times the square of x times the square of y. We can take 6 times the square of x times the square of y together 3 times x to the 4th power plus 3 times y to the 4th power, to make a perfect square, leaving 4 times the square of x times the square of y. Now there are square roots on both sides, so it's not very easy to compare them. But none of them are smaller than 0, so we can simply square both sides. The first part on the left side becomes half the square of x plus the square of y and we apply perfect square formula to the other part. If we first multiply the square of x plus the square of y to the first part, we will obtain half of the square of the square of x plus the square of y. That leaves the square of x plus the square of y times x times y. Addressing the right side is pretty straightforward. So we have 3 quarters times the square of the square of x plus the square of y, plus the square of x times the square of y. There are similar terms on both sides and we subtract their common parts at the same time, leaving nothing on the left and one quarter of it on the right. It's pretty clear now. But if you want to make it even clearer, let's substitute the variables again. This time we use u to represent half the square of x plus the square of y, and v to represent x times y. Then twice u times v cannot be bigger than the square of u plus the square of v. We therefore complete the proof. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.